Hello everyone, I am Sanchita and today I will be doing a demonstration of Dutch pour. So there are a lot of different types of pours, for example dirty pour, dip pour, balloon dip pour, split cup pour, tunnel pour etc. So this one specifically is called as Dutch pour because of a lady who made it go viral on Facebook groups happened to be a Dutch and hence it got a name Dutch pour. Today I will be using a canvas, a stretch canvas. You can use a canvas board or an MDF but before using MDF you will have to prime it and the colors, I will be using Asian color, one of the Asian colors. So this is a little purplish magenta similar to grape color maybe, yeah it is this color and artist grade acrylic paints and fabric colors this is the shade golden yellow I'll be using golden yellow from fabric paints and copper from artist grade acrylic color white white and uh, pennies gray from the same artist artist acrylic colors and the base color will be asian paint uh, so i have not mixed it with any floetrol or acrylic pouring medium i have just put water and nothing else um, no other additives it's just water and the procedure to do it is very simple just put a layer of one single color and put a puddle of all the other colors in the middle or in the diagonal or wherever you want and then put the base color that you had used first around the puddle and then blow it out with a hair dryer so of course yeah we need a hair dryer if you're using a small canvas you can blow it with your mouth as well you don't have to use a hair dryer but uh, using a hair dryer is much preferable so let's start I'll be using this color for the base I'm using a really small canvas because I like using tiny canvas than the bigger ones When you're using on a bigger canvas, you can blow it out with the hair dryer, put the base color and then blow it out with the hair dryer. That will be more easier than to uh, spread it around with your hand. And while spreading, I'm making sure there are no air bubbles or I'm just popping out the air bubbles. After this, make sure all the edges are also painted because it doesn't look finished if you don't cover the edges. So it is not compulsory to use a acrylic pour medium or a floetrol or any additive it is completely left to you the key to this particular pour is consistency so i've mixed the paints already in the consistency that i want i don't like it to be too flowy or too thick if it is too thick it doesn't move when you spread it out when you blow it out with the hair dryer if it is too thin if it is too thin when you put the puddle it mixes then and there so again that won't give you a great result so I use one metallic color whenever I'm doing this pour so this will be the metallic color will be copper and one white a primary color that will be yellow the consistency is this not too thick not too thin and one darker shade this is penny's gray 
I like this gray because it has a tinge of blue shade and I like that. So let's start. Now that I've put the base, I'll put white as the base of the puddle. Like it is going to give you the outer circle or it is going to give you the outer circle. And then the pen is grey and then copper and golden yellow and uh, a little bit of white I think I'll repeat it again So now that I have uh, the puddle ready, I'll be pouring the base color around the puddle. And with the hair dryer, now I'll blow over the puddle. Now let's wait for some time and then now we have a little cells there so I think we are ready to go over it. I'm just finishing with the with blowing from my mouth and then yeah and here it is let's keep it yeah. so I really like how it turned out and I'll show you a close-up of it all I've used here is the leftover paints that I had at home and some water and no medium 